been installing some friction hinges on this Coleman Lantern 17B. I will show you why uh, friction hinges are used and why this camper needs them. Friction hinges, without this, see how it just swings with no effort? Doesn't even stay in place. If you use this, the littlest bit of wind, and it pops out of place. So it won't stay in place. Friction hinges should keep it in place. So that way, if you have it open, it won't be banging into the awning all the time. It, so we're gonna install these and go from there. I bought Lipper friction hinges. It's got two hinges all these screws and I opened it already and I cut this. This is a template that you use. Um, so you install you will install this side first on that side of the jam like that. And then the one with the three holes goes into the actual door. 1164 uh, drill bit is what you're supposed to use. So we'll start that and see what happens. I've got some holes drilled. And so I'm going to change from the drill bit to the pan head to mount this. And you want it, you've got two hinges. So you're going to mount it in between the top and the middle existing hinges for this to work properly. So I screwed holes in the top part of this one in the middle, the bottom one. And then once I get those screwed in, I'll drill a hole for the middle and screw that in. One has been installed. You can already kind of tell And then we'll close the door and make sure that it shuts. Yep. No effect on the outside. And we'll install the other one. The other one's gonna go right in here. So it's gonna be between the bottom and the middle hinge. Finishing up the installation of the friction hinges. You've got extra screws, so you're supposed to drill out a couple extra holes on the hinges to add so that it's not just one by itself. I've got the top hinges drilled out. And the bottom ones I haven't done yet, so I'll screw these in and the top hinge will be complete. Okay, have it the rest of the way drilled out and the screws installed. So there's three per hinge. And the installation is complete. Now we're going to replace the door handle with a keypad so that we don't necessarily have to carry in the keys for everything. First thing we're gonna do is unscrew these to get access um, to the internal mechanism. Then we're going to take these out. Have my drill, we're going to unscrew these and go from there. Taking the inner latch out, now we're going to unscrew this and go from there. 
Now we should be able to take this out. We've got our opening and we are just going to replace it with this new RV door lock. Unboxing. Owner's manual, QR code, uh, not sure, batteries, Okay, we are going to get started. It's got the keys there with the wireless key fobs. Okay, it says to, first thing to do is open up the battery compartment. Now we install the batteries. Put in battery cover. Okay, it is separated. I'm going to you insert it into the cutout. I'm okay. Uh, we are going to install the with the smaller screws. There's a couple screws that you will use to drill into this. Now, to plug these two wires together, loosely screw these together and see if this is going to work or not. Now I'm gonna take the screws that came out of it and just try to loosely At this point, it says to attempt to try using the keypad. Okay, that worked. Really easy install. And now we will try using the key fob to make sure that works with it. We installed the friction hinges, we installed the new latch door handle, and one of the last upgrades we're gonna do for now is a double entry step. So it's gonna have two instead of just one. Um, for a lot of, for some people, it's a very large step from the ground to this first single step. So we're going to replace that and make it a double step so that it's a little bit easier for uh, entry. And from what I believe, 
you've got to unbolt it there and there to mount it in. We're gonna open this up and how it comes it's the Libert I got the four bolts off well the four nuts I'm gonna take the bolts out <laughs> Would definitely be helpful with another person. Okay, I set up a little stand so I can attempt to see what's going on. Um, one person seemed really, really difficult to be able to hold it, put it in place, and um, put the hardware in place. So this should be. Okay, these were 15 millimeter bolts. I've tightened them down. And let's grab the tape measure and see. Now it's about a nine and a half inch step up. And what I would probably recommend is Getting a stabilizer for underneath the stairs it just seems like it's an extended a little bit so um if you don't like it feeling wobbly it's secured in there but you can get a stabilizer for to support this bottom one and it won't feel like that pretty quick and easy um change upgrade and to pop it back in there just like that. 